proper story is supposed to start at the beginning. Ain't so simple with this one. Now here's a kid whose whole world got all twisted, leaving him stranded on a rock in the sky. So Bastion is from um, a developer and company called Supergiant Games, and which was founded in late 2009. And one of the founders is uh, Amir Rao, who's one of my best friends from San Jose, California, where I grew up, and Darren Korb, who's the audio director uh, of Supergiant and the audio director on Bastion, is also a friend of mine. And the three of us grouped together. So Amir just started this company with his friend. Gav Gavin Simon that he worked with at uh, Electronic Arts in LA and asked Darren to start doing the music and the sound for the game and when they got to a point in development where they felt that they needed a voice actor uh, Darren and I were, were roommates at the time in, in Brooklyn and so I was just an actor that he knew and so he asked me to just try this voiceover narration idea that they had. They didn't even know if, if it would work or if it would be any good and just asked me to try it. So, because Darren and I were living together, it wasn't too difficult to to do just logistically. I just had to walk into his uh, his bedroom, which was also his recording studio. And that was in early, that was in February 2010, so almost two years ago. So that's how I got involved. And did you imagine yourself doing voice acting? Um, not expressly, no. I mean, I, I wanted to be an actor, just period, you know, but not limiting myself, just work in film and theater and whatever I could kind of get my hands on. Um, I thought about vo voice acting, that I might do it eventually, but it wasn't, um, it wasn't a, really a goal when I was starting. Who were your influences as an actor? Um... All of the, pretty much any actor that's any good or, or makes me feel something, I don't know, my, my favorite actors are all, they're all mostly in film, because that's my first kind of language of acting, that's where I noticed acting for the first time. I didn't grow up going to the, uh, the theater or doing a ton of theater, I was just watching film and television, movies and, and TV shows. Um, the kind of American so-called method actors of the 70s I love, like De Niro and Pacino especially, who's probably my favorite actor. Um, and also like the British classical actors like Ian McKellen and Ian McShane, who was a, who was a big influence on, on Bastion actually. Um, his character in Deadwood specifically, just in terms of Finding a sound, a sound for the for the character, and they, uh, Amir actually sent along a clip from Deadwood when I started on Bastion, just as a point of reference, just just like from a purely aesthetic standpoint, it should should sound something like that. Are you working on any other projects right now? Um, not at the moment. I'm just auditioning for lots of things, mostly commercials, and um, I'll be most likely involved with Supergiant and whatever we do next. I don't know what that's going to be yet. And do you have a personal favorite video game of all time? It's probably either Monkey Island or Jedi Knight, the first Jedi Knight. Dark Forces 2. Those are the two, two games I remember playing the most as a kid. But um, yeah, Monkey Island I love and all, all those old like Lucas LucasArts games. Like, uh, Indiana Jones and Fate of, Fate of Atlantis is amazing. Like, I remember playing that when I was very young and thinking, this is an amazing game. Um, just the fact that you can beat it in a variety of different ways. Or just play in, like, a different, um, you know, you have, like, the wits path or, uh, the, like, fists, was it? Like, you could fight or something. You had three options um, with, every, with every choice, like, every dialogue choice basically in the game. 
And it was really, I, I hadn't seen that before. That was cool. And also, um, the Wing Commander games. I loved. Have you played those? I have not. No, you should play them. Wing Commander 2, actually, is awesome. I was just talking to, um, Greg Kasavin, um, uh, creative director of Supergiant and writer of Bastion. And then Wing Commander 2 is both a game that we remember as having, uh, that's where we noticed, like, good voice acting for the first time, or one of the earliest games to have good voice actors. Are there any video games that you're looking forward to right now? Looking forward to, uh, Bioshock Infinite, I'm looking forward to. I played a little bit of the first Bioshock, I haven't played the entire thing. Um, I'm just really getting back into games, like, I was... I don't know if I'd ever call myself a gamer, I, I played games and enjoyed them growing up, but then I kind of moved away from it somewhere in college, and as I decided that I wanted to be an actor, I was, that's how I was spending most of my time, just reading plays and being miserable and feeling sorry for myself. But uh, I didn't leave a whole lot of time <laughs> for games, but uh, I'm getting back into it, and it's great. Great. Um, yeah, that's probably just what I'm looking forward to most. And also, I just have a lot of respect for Irrational and... You know, the developer of Bioshock, I think they're fantastic, and Ken Levine is, is amazing. I've met him, I've been l l lucky enough to meet him a few times at uh, things like PAX and stuff. He's really, really cool. And did you expect to win so many awards? No. No, we didn't. We, um, I remember playing Bastion for the first time and thinking it was good, thinking it was, it was quite good. And I was surprised, actually, at how good it, it turned out. But, you know, you... you you make something, you, you, you work on something, you make it, and then you just you release it, you just let it go, and it takes on a life of itself, and you don't, you don't know what's going to happen to it. So you, you, know, it's, you can't ever expect to win awards. You can only hope to, to make something good, and, and hopefully um, you're not alone in thinking that it's good, and other people do too.